Welcome back everybody, my name is Jed. If you don't know me, I live in this Forerunner so that I can spend more time outdoors and less time doing stuff that I don't wanna do. So let me show you my sleep system. Uh, to start off, I have this, uh, this, I don't know what these are called actually, I forgot. This creates space between your mattress and what it's on so that I can breathe so it doesn't mold. Uh, I live in the Pacific Northwest and I'm gonna be here until summer and uh, it's just humid all the time. And this helps cut down on the mold or prevent it completely actually. And then I've got a six inch mattress. It's just one I got from Amazon. I love these things. I keep coming back to these because they're cheap. They're like a hundred bucks. They're super comfortable. Uh, much more comfortable than, you know, a camping pad or something. And then I just got some cheap sheets. And then I have three of these Ektos wool blankets. I love these because one, they work when they're wet and it's, it's always wet here in the Pacific Northwest. And two, they breathe. I'm a hot sleeper, and once I get up to temp in the middle of the night, if I don't have something that breathes, I wake up covered in sweat. So this will be really nice in the summer as well when it's hot. And then I have this, um, and this third one is like half size. It's a smaller size. It's a throw blanket. I use that one just for my feet because my feet get cold. And I can also take this out and, you know, wrap it around myself at the campfire or whatever. And then this is the star of the show, dude. This is the Ignic, uh, I think they call it the top blanket or something like that. It's a heated blanket. It only heats down the very center and it has like more heat where your chest is and where your feet are to keep you extra warm. And it's insanely efficient. I think it only sips like 20 watts an hour when it's on like one or two. And uh, that's plenty. Even when it's 40 degrees out, this system with the heated blanket on too is plenty. And I like to turn this on to 10 or five about a half an hour before bed. It heats up the whole bed. It makes it so nice at the end of the night um, to, just to get into bed because it's so warm and cozy and nice. This thing on 10 will fry your ass, dude. It gets really hot. It gets really hot. So this is uh, the basic sleep system. And then obviously I have this wood uh, platform that I built. I took out the back seats. I've got another video showing that. All right, so these, I've talked briefly about these before. These are the WeatherTech window covers made for the 4Runner. They make them for other vehicles too. I painted this side with a few coats of Plasti Dip because it was really shiny. And at night, if like head, headlights shone on your truck, it just reflected back really bright and looked really weird. And it was really obvious that someone's living in there. With the mat, the light doesn't reflect back. So through my tinted windows, you can't really tell that anything's blocking the windows. They just look really dark. Uh, so that's really nice at night if I'm parked in the city or I just want to protect my stuff in the back, you know, so nobody can see back there. These are amazing. My one issue, and I wish they would have worked with someone who was like living in a vehicle full time because they would have caught this instantly is they missed the corners. These corners are too round. So light, if you're inside at night, uh, you know, on your laptop or whatever, light comes out and you can see that when you're in the city and that's very, um, I, like, I don't like people knowing that I'm living in here when I'm in the city, so that matters to me. The other thing is, like I said, I got 5% ceramic tint on the windows that when I'm camping, I don't even need those if it's warm enough. So usually I lay all the way up against this side for whatever reason, it just feels better. I don't know why, um, but my knees hit this if I lift my knees up, so I gotta kinda swing them off to the side and then bring them around, and then they can kinda rest on it which is okay. Sometimes I lay in bed and you know, I'm on my computer typing and editing and stuff. I, I don't want to give this up. All this, this is all my clothes up here. I keep my light up here and it just, it just rests up there like that. It's super rad. I love this little thing. I'll link this too. This is a goal zero crush light. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, you know, can you hang with this? I've pretty much gotten used to it. Sometimes it does suck and it would be nice to just lay in a normal bed, but kind of gotten used to it. So to get out of bed, I don't go in and out of the back hatch. I usually go in and out through the front. So these grab handles right here are in the perfect spot. Spin around. And then I can just kind of pop into bed. So the last little area where you can kind of see me through is right here. And I put in these plastic clips up here so I can just tuck the towel in and bam, problem solved. Um, you know, when I, when I sleep in here in the city, I don't cover the side windows. I leave them open and I can kind of just pop my head up in here and just look out and I can see outside the vehicle, which is kind of nice to be able to see out. Um, and I have airflow. I have a fan back there that's battery operated that charges while I drive or it charges off my uh, power supply. And that gives me full airflow to the front so that the temperature stays a little more consistent, um, which is really nice in the winter, especially because the front heats up a little faster than the back and it adds a little warmth in the morning. 
But yeah, this system really works and it dries out my towel. This is a, um, a Nomadix and it is made out of recycled plastic bottles and these are the best towels I've ever used in my life. And uh, they did not pay me to say that, but if they'd like to send me more towels, I'd be happy to have them. I love these things. These are, uh, these are amazing. Uh, they dry super fast, they're super absorbent, they're really soft and uh, they're made out of recycled plastic bottles. It's really cool. I've been down to, I think, I don't know, 30 or so, I don't know, cold. Uh, I don't go to like super like below freezing, you know, like Anchorage in December or whatever. I'm not into that. Uh, I like being warm, but this is definitely good down to freezing and uh, yeah, it'll work good in the summer too because the, the wool blankets are great and I can just take the heated blanket off. That one does not breathe at all. Uh, it really traps in the heat and the moisture, but with those layers of wool blankets underneath, I'm a hot sleeper and I sweat a lot when I sleep and I don't have any issues. Uh, they completely changed the whole, uh, the way I sleep. They made me sleep much better. And I love the way they smell. And they're natural and uh, they'll, they'll last a lifetime.